What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I'll um, show you some recent um, cracks I did. We'll start off with some Matchbox and move to some Hot Wheels, and then I'll show you an awesome car I got in the mail today. And we'll start off with this Matchbox. This is the MGB GT Coupe 1971. Pretty nice casting. Um, I don't understand why they didn't hit the headlights, but they did the tail lights and everything. In the back looks really good. I think they put the emblem on the front. It's just weird why they didn't hit the tail lights. I guess the emblem's part of the base though, or the interior maybe. I don't know. But it's pretty cool looking. I really like it. Nice red color. All right, and this one's really sweet. We got a 64 Ford Fairlane wagon. And this beautiful metallic blue color. She's a beauty, for sure. Really glad I snagged this one. Show you that color a little closer. Beautiful color. Really nice. <clears throat> no tamper work front and back. All right, next up, another matchbox. We have a Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. This is an awesome looking casting. It's got a beautiful pearl white metallic. I'll show you closer in a little bit. You can't really see it right now. Um, I love the wheels they chose. Love the tan interior. Full tampa work back and front. It's great. Really nice car. I think this is my third one now. Third or fourth one. Beautiful casting by Matchbox. See if I can show you that pearl white a little bit right there. There it is. Beautiful color. Love that color. All right. Next up, we got a couple of Matchbox I found in the dollar store today. Um, this one's the Mercedes AMG GT. This must be from an older mix because i don't remember seeing this i don't know if this was mix a i might have missed it i don't know but it's pretty sweet no hot wheels we haven't had hot wheels in dollar generals i can't remember how long they do get matchbox once in a while but never any hot wheels anymore so i thought this was a nice find i believe charles from charles diecast garage showed this today or yesterday and his he found one at a dollar store too so maybe they're getting some older cases in that were stuck on the ships or something. I don't know. But this is a beauty. Beautiful color. Love the wheels on it. Look great on here. This is full tampo work on here. Very nicely done car. And they also had this one. <clears throat> 2016 Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. <clears throat> Another one with a beautiful pearl white color this one's just like the porsche beautiful car i know i have another alfa romeo i believe it's a black one i can't remember i don't have too many in the matchbox i'm talking about well this one's very nicely done as well <clears throat> Is that pearl white? Awesome. Okay, now we got some Hot Wheels. This is an older Hot Wheels. Um, it was called a police cruiser or something, but it's actually a Buick Regal. When you look at the base, it says Buick Regal on it. I've never seen this casting before. It's very light. I almost thought the whole thing was plastic, but it's not. <clears throat> so 
but it's really cool looking, I know that. Definitely an awesome police car for the collection. I don't have anyone like this. It says Interceptor. Yep, Interceptor 27. Right there it says it. Yeah, it's very light. I mean, it is metal. But there's it is, Buick Regal. Interesting casting, how they riveted it, too. It's got two in the back, one in the front. Very different. <clears throat> this was one of the mystery cars that I bought. Um, it wasn't a mystery. It was shown what it was, but it was a mystery car at one time. Um, this is the Fished and Chip. Casting I somewhat collect. If I like what the car looks like, I'll buy it. It's not one that I have to get every single one of, but I thought this brown metallic color was really nice. The Hot Wheels in the back window. <clears throat> Pretty cool car. And I got a pair of these track tees. They're both mystery cars as well. Got one in white and one, <clears throat> man, in a, um, like a primer gray color. Both with the same designs on them. Just different colors, different wheels. Pretty cool. I don't have too many track keys. It's not one I go after, but I thought this, these were really cool. They have metal bases on them. But pretty cool. Let's see that logo. The clones. Something. And this one was the best. Mystery car, the 70 Plymouth Cuda. It's awesome. Beautiful Cuda for the collection. I love the roof. It's a different color red. It looks really awesome. Nice new cooter for the collection, for sure. That roof's pretty cool. And next up, we have a couple of these Monte Carlos. This, these are all metal. These cars are heavy. Beautiful cars, both of them. I wish they would have done some Tampa work on it. I didn't do anything. I can do it myself, I guess, but it would look cool if they would have done it. Awesome looking cars. There's that Chevy gray interior for sure. <clears throat> the metallic one is really awesome. Beautiful color. I don't know if they've made any more of these. These are the only two. I have no clue. But I like it. I like this casting. Nice color. So we got some treasure hunts from 2007. And I forgot what this one was called. Hammered Sled, I think. This is the regular treasure hunt. That would have also been a super treasure hunt that year. But nice bike for a collection.
Next up is the Brutalistic. I thought this was a really cool looking car. You know, it's a fantasy car. I think the colors on it, the style of it's cool. I like the wheels on it. Love the color, that green color. And then the brown accents just looks awesome. Definitely different. This has a metal base as well. Brown metal base. Which I'm assuming is those seats too. The seats come up in there as the brown too. It's pretty cool. I like that. And then we have this treasure hunt, which is really sweet. The jaded. Beautiful colors on this one. Nice flame patterns, got detail, I believe, front and back. <clears throat> yep, full tampa work on this one. Beautiful flame job, beautiful metallic blue. Love this car. Well, do it for the cars that I cracked open today. Now I can show you the one I got in the mail. We'll move this out of the way for a minute. And it is RLC 52 Dodge Power Wagon. Let's adjust this camera a little bit so we have a little room. I already took it out. I um, took all the ties off of it so I didn't snap the case back in yet. I don't want to do it until I'm ready to put it away. away. So this is the case with the background in the mountain scene. Really cool. This is my first RLC that came with a case like this. I usually don't buy these, but I really like this power ring. And I didn't get any of the Jeeps. Because they just take up so much room. These things. I don't really have that much room left. But I had to get this power wagon. I really wish I did get the Jeeps now. Now that I have this. Because I think they look really cool in these dioramas. But they're way too much money right now. So I'll take this out show you guys this thing so this thing turns beautiful wood bed beautiful spectra flame color on here beautiful color like a wine color nothing opens just the bed articulates no hood no tailgate Got power wagon on each side there. Dodge in the back. So I didn't think I was getting it because the show delivered and not here. But it's here today. And I let them know and they refunded my money, I guess, already. But I'm going to message it back to them. I got it. I don't know if it fully went through yet. Let them know that it came today. Got the winch right there. Thing's awesome. I'll throw her on the turntable. You guys can see it for a little bit. She dare fall off of there. But that is one awesome truck. I'm glad I got it. The minute I didn't think I was going to get it, I thought it got lost. So that's the first time it's happened. Usually when they say it's delivered, it's here. So now I know next time just wait another day and then I'll say I didn't get it. But she's a beauty. I don't know why I can't get this camera centered. Awesome. Awesome truck. This this movement is just so cool. Like it's going off road. Look at that. It's so awesome. So we're putting her back in the case. I already shined her up. Some detailer. 
and we'll put her up somewhere on a shelf. So if you do get one, I would recommend taking it in those bands off because the bands were wrapped around in the front where it would touch the paint. The back ones were just around the axles and the wheels, but I'd recommend taking them off. It only takes a second and then just snap it back in there and put it right back on the diorama and snap it together. But that'll do it for me, guys, in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming, guys. Uh, you ordered too much stuff, but they have so much awesome stuff that's out. Mini GT, Johnny Lightning, Green Light. Oh, I have so much awesome stuff coming in. I ain't know where I'm going to put it all yet, but I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to see some of these cars that are coming. are just unbelievable what they've come out with. So, I will be coming soon. Hopefully this week. Alright guys. Thanks again for watching. Subbing to the channel. Take care. And have a great night.